This is Pastor Joseph with Life Family, and I want to bring you a little extra because it's the little things done consistently that make a big difference. So today's devotional is found in Ephesians 1 and 4, where it says this, For we have been chosen by God before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame in Him, in love. What a beautiful phrase that we are called. You see, the book of Ephesians is all about two things. Two things. It's about our identity in Christ and our instructions from Christ. Our identity and instructions. It's filled with rich, robust doctrine. Doctrine simply means teachings. The teachings in Ephesians are so rich and robust with spiritual truths of our identity. Last devotion, we talked about our identity as saints, set apart for the master's use. We're clean, we're purified, set apart for the master's use and his purposes. Today, we're looking at this term, our identity as chosen of the Most High God. Think about that for a moment. I know in Christianity and in our faith, we like to say, when we found God, or when I found God, or when I found Jesus. How many know Jesus was never lost? He didn't need to be found. But the truth of the matter is, Jesus found us. He came to us when we couldn't go to Him. When we were at our lowest state, when we were at an end of ourselves, when we finally had a heart that was tender to the spiritual aspects of ourselves, our soul, our, our spirit man, we were seeking after God. And when we began to like call on His name, He came to us when we couldn't go to Him. And so that word there is saying that he chose us in all our faults, in all our failings. But what the Bible says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He chose the nails, he chose the cross, he chose the cat of nine tails on his back because he chose you and I. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12, he endured the cross and despised the shame for the joy that was set before him. He chose you, just like a husband chooses his wife, just like a wife without the guy even knowing it, chose him. The Lord chose us to be a part of his spiritual bride. So today, doesn't matter who rejected you, doesn't matter who thinks less of you, doesn't matter who uh, hasn't given you a second thought, or maybe you just think you're an everyday person in the crowd. I'm here to tell you, I'm here to remind you that Jesus Christ has chosen you. He chose you to have a relationship with Him, to enjoy His goodness, His purpose, His holiness, and His love. Live in that purpose. Live in that conviction that you're chosen of the Most High God. So live from that perspective. Live from a place I'm chosen. The Lord loved me enough. He chose me to have a relationship. And don't settle for anything less than God's best. You're chosen. God bless you.